was swinging for the fence I was looking for the triple, never playing good defense uh, Gunning for the glitter, every hot and heavy hitter She was never really there, so I couldn't really get a set Factually, I, I'm just a piece of it Factually, I, the very least of it Piece of work, I was really quite a jerk Keeping score with such a bore, a busy mind could go berserk uh, on this, I was fishing for a hook, so I took a little trip and I opened up the book. I said, Back to Wally, I, I'm just a piece of it. Back to Wally, I, the very least of it. Back to Wally, I, it's just a medicine. Make you wanna cry, why don't they let it sit? Be my wife, I think you're right. Oh, this is the worst thing that could ever have happened. Man, I'm too young to die. This is some kind of cruel karma from my seventh divorce. Boss, what happened? Are you not getting 50-50 from her? This is horrible. Hire me. I'll assassinate her. We'll get good life insurance. Okay, that call wasn't her. This isn't just some freak accident. This is our sins coming back to haunt us. What? What did the caller say? What did he say? He said one of us is gonna die before the night is over. We, my friends, are screwed. It's October 31st, Halloween day. I should have called him sick again, but some stupid desire for money and maturity led me to come back to work. Now, I might be one of the clerks who dies tonight. Let's take this back a few hours. Are you alright? I want to call 911. You're going to be okay. Hey, do you think the ambulance will give me a ride to the Green Lake store? I don't even think you can comprehend the stupidity of what you just did. Calm down, you act like you've never gotten tired and decided to sleep on the highway. Someone could have hit you and have to live with the guilty conscience of accidentally killing you. Sucks to be them, bro. Sucks to be them. So, why are you heading out to that little Green Lake store? They've always had good food in their trash over there. One man's junk is another woman's treasure. So that's seriously why you're going back. Yep, that story isn't done with me yet. Minion! This historic costume you decided to wear, I do adore it! <laughs> yes, boss! We can't get came with rebels against society! I like to consider myself a revolutionary also! Oh, I could make a very good model! It'd be a fashion statement! So my swagger, I'd be some pretty delicious eye candy! Beautiful philosophy! <laughs> I'm surprised you're still working in my store instead of running for the presidency. The KKK versus Obama? I could handle the heat. What are your thoughts on my costume? I thought this town could use a psychopathic touch. I love it. Serial killers don't get enough credit around here. Media doesn't do them justice. Hey, Minion, isn't Francis working today? If that's what you call it, then yes, he is working. Hey, listen, we need all the solid stuff. Every candy has to be put in its place today. Today is the day we make copious amounts of money. He's probably somewhere around here sleeping or eating a customer's meal again. All right, I'm going to go find him. Laziness is the last thing on our list of priorities. Dude, that hobo costume is perfect. Bag of balls is a nice touch. What you talking about? This is all natural. By the way, you have any smokes? I'll totally lend you back. Bites and all. But this offer only stands 20 more seconds. Crazy curlies are mine. Tremont, help a brother out. A hobo without smokes is like a bum without booze. Speaking of which, I'm running low on both. I'm running low on patience too. Come on, have respect for yourself. Clean your life up. Hey bro, 
I'm as clean as I'll ever be. I took a bath in the lake last month. But winter's getting kind of chilly. Can't do that stuff without admission price. Get a job, get some money. I ain't helping you out. My welfare check doesn't come in till tomorrow. End of the month, bro. What's going on here? You're being paid for a good sleep. I don't think so. Get fired! Out of here! Boss, I had to test it out. A customer came here. They they returned it. They, they, they were satisfied. I had to make sure that, that it was comfy. Oh, oh, good thinking. And here I thought you were just trying to have a snooze on one of our busiest days of the year. What? Boss, me snooze? Heaven forbid. Just you remember, mister, if I ever catch you slacking, your paycheck is going to be as miserable as your love life, okay? I don't believe in laziness. I'm a soccer atheist. You're buying diapers? Oh, <laughs> I see. Sprung a leak underneath. Bad plumbing. <laughs> Makes sense now. These are for my grandchildren. Baby, these are for adults. I have very big grandchildren. First, you're a kid. Then, you slip into this momentary output. Before you know it, you're back to being a kid, wetting the bed and needing your diapers changed. But don't worry, baby. I'm not really judging you for having to wear diapers. I mean, it's not exactly turn on for me, but I'm sure someone in the care home will like it. People have bizarre fetishes these days. Enough of this. This is so disrespectful. I just want to buy this product and leave. Whoa, hon! Whoa! Let me have your number first, you know, in case you need, uh, anything. Just put the product through. A diaper? The product. A mature diaper? I'll give you that much. That'll be $14.99. Well, I'm not a waitress, but if you want to give me a tip, that'd be very generous. I don't have any cash on me and I can never figure out these machines. Oh, no worries. Being senile is all a part of the long road ahead. Give that to me. What's your password? One, two, three, four. I'm glad you could handle that much. I thought your brain might overload. Perfect. We're done here. Unless you want my number. Well, then maybe tomorrow night might work. You know, we could have a romantic dinner, poutine, some chicken. I like where this is going. I think we're onto something. Do you have a lot of money? I don't worry about money. You know, I know you're old and you might die soon and everything, but I'm not worried about money. But, uh, I'm not worried about the looks either. I like your personality. This is the worst customer service I've had in my life. I'll be reporting you to the manager. Ta-ta, darling. Someday we'll go down the back roads and we'll recreate a country song. Goodbye. Oh, it's easy stealing candy from a child. You know it's incredible? The amount of people that die on Halloween. It's not that bad. Oh no, buddy, it's bad. A bloodbath. Well, let's keep the topic to good things. Like what? Rainbows? I bought a ticket to the end of the rainbow and there was nothing. Hey, life's not fair. What can you do? Yeah, you're right. Life's hard. As a child, I watched my brother put on a white mask and butcher my entire family. Okay, that's a movie. Let's not get too dramatic. Fact, not fiction, baby. That's my life for you, though. So much blood. <laughs> I bet this is exactly what you wanted to do when you were younger. Stocking shelves, helping needy customers, living paycheck to paycheck. <sighs> Sounds like the life to me. I'd say so. I have the option between doing this or taking 10 years of schooling to be a rich doctor and I don't know, I thought this is the celebrity life I always wanted. Oh, I believe you. I'll be throwing myself at your feet and begging for your autograph any minute now. <laughs> It'll cost you though. Minimum wage doesn't pay all the bills these days. I mean, giving out autographs is like my second job pretty much. I mean, over at McDonald's, I was employed of the month one time. 
you know, you're gonna want to take a guy like that back home. I think I'm falling in love with you right now. Is it too early to say that you complete me? Ah, it's never too early, but you know, it might take a little while because I got a few women I gotta see before you, but give it a month or two, I'll check in my black book, see if I can make some room. Perfect. All I want is to be a painful memory for you in the end anyway. Well, in that case, maybe I could get your number today. Works for me. But make sure you only ask me out using text messaging. That's the most romantic method ever. Well, you're in luck then, because that's the only way I roll. Hopeless romantic here. Hey, you know that eccentric little clerk is watching us, right? Yeah, that's just the boss's little minion. Just act like I'm helping you and we're all good. Wow, the boss's minion sounds so handsome and amazing. I'm sure he's the type of guy I'd like to take home and do dirty things to. Oh, oh, she loves me! <laughs> um, look, I gotta get going now. It was nice talking to you. Yeah, so I'll, I'll just give you a call with that number you never gave me. No need for that. I'll be back. I hope so. Man, I gotta do something with my life. Hey, kid, do you want to know how I got these scars? Just one candy. Yeah, but I just want to tell you how I got these scars. Just one candy. So I put this knife in my mouth, see? And you know what the funny part is? I can't help but always be smiling now. Don't kill me. I won't kill you because you're just too much fun. And I think... We are destined to do this forever. <laughs> You're back? Somebody has to bum the store proper around here. That was brutal. Business has been slow these last couple of months. Only made a few dollars. Do we have booze? A little bit of alcohol a day keeps the doctor away. That's my girl. Now we have to come up with some schemes to make some money. Paul, do you have anything in mind? I'm the Einstein of mischief. Of course I have a plan. Hey, this is it. This is our big dirty. We're gonna be making the big bucks now. But how, bro? They're all visiting. What are we gonna do? Stick them up? That's what he said. But no, I have something else in mind. Let's just say, x lax is some very potent stuff. Watch and learn from the best, my friend. I thought that was chocolate. Nope. Some crazy drunk dude outside stole your bike. What? Let's stop him! Watch this. When they get back, the good part will start. I can't believe those ladies would lie to us like that. It's stupid. Come on, I don't feel so good. Me neither. Oh, I gotta go to the bathroom. Let me go to go to the bathroom badly. 20 bucks a minute, ladies. Read the sign. Put the money in this bucket. This is madness. This is Sparta. I don't care. Take my wallet. This is insane! Come at me, bro! So how's the workout? Whoa! Why are you dressed as a KKK minion? Save your preaching for church! I'm a very historical person! Also, this white really adds to my features! But that's so disrespectful! Racism behind it's sadistic! Hey! Don't get me wrong! We're all equal in life! 
Just some a little more equal than others. You know, he's got a point. That's why I'm in management. My equality is somewhat higher than you guys'. Boss, that's exactly it. How could you not like the KKK? I mean, they shaped society. They were rebels against their times. True underdogs. They didn't stand for the social norm. They wanted more. I respect the KKK. What the heck? This is ridiculous. What kind of story is this? I'm out of here. Freedom of speech. You win some, you lose some. Hey, come here! Boss, Minions just lost as a customer and you're gonna act like nothing wrong happened. Ah, it doesn't really matter. The guy only buys a few dollars of the product every month anyway. It's no great loss. You know, boss, wouldn't be much of a loss if he was fired either. Keep dreaming, I'm a lifer here. Make it quick, I've got a busy workload today. Wait, what are you trying to say? Whoa, 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 you can't be serious. I'll do anything, anything, just don't do that. Oh, this is the worst thing that could ever have happened. Man, I'm too young to die. This is some kind of cruel karma from my seventh divorce. Boss, what happened? Are you not getting 50-50 from her? This is horrible, hire me. I'll assassinate her. Get good life insurance. Okay, that call wasn't her. This isn't just some freak accident. This is our sins coming back to haunt us. What? What did the caller say? What did he say? He said one of us is gonna die before the night is over. So that, my friends, brings us back to the present. I just hope it isn't me that dies tonight. Where do we go from here? Only fate knows. We're officially screwed. There's something evil brewing in the air tonight. Someone's gonna die tonight. That guy means business. The eyes of a killer. Seriously, who would threaten to kill us? Don't ask me! I'm friends with everyone in this town! If I'm the one to die, make sure they play Highway to Hell at my funeral. Don't worry, boss. I'll see to it. It's him! This town ain't big enough for the both of us. Uh, boom. There's, there's four of us here in total. That's what I said. Please, I beg you, don't shoot us with that gun. Our next convict with blood in his eyes. Kill the others, not me. I still have to lose my virginity. Sex is a God-given gift. They can't be abused. You'll be getting icky from these buds. He's the one that always steals your food. I never have. I only sampled it a few times. I was hungry. And, and I only overcharge you a few times. If you give me a free pack of smokes, I won't shoot you with my fake gun. Wait a minute, you mean to say that dang thing ain't real? No, but I'll take a free pack of cigarettes anyway. So you're not the one that's gonna try to kill us tonight? This is my Halloween costume, do you like it? Oh, I thought you were gonna try to assassinate me! Hey, aren't you a little old for dress up, mister? I'm a child at heart. Well, wait a minute now. If he's not gonna kill us, then I wonder who is. Trick or treat. Sorry, kid, we don't have anything to give you. Yes, we do. Here's some booze. Hey, you think he's the killer? I don't like that clown smile. There's too much evil behind it. I think he might just be the one. Uh oh, he's looking at us. Don't do anything suspicious. Look at him. Were you guys just stalking me? He was. I had nothing to do with it. I, uh, 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 I can give you anything in this store you want for free. Anything. 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 Just don't hurt me. Dodged the bullet there. The death grip of fate was around our necks! 
That kid isn't a killer. That's one of my kids that I gave away when I was 13. We what? You weren't gonna kill us? You crazy? I thought this was the ultimate trick or treat gift. You just got owned. It's time to start kissing face lovely arse cheeks again. How the heck did I get here? I must have slept through my shift and slept while back. Whoa, whoa, how did I get here? Hello? It puts the lotion on the skin. Hey, what's going on? Why am I here? And how come you are me? Twist ending, my friend. You're schizophrenic. And we're both the same person. No! It puts the lotion on the skin or it gets the hose again. Hose again. Hose again. Hose again. Please, please, just let me out of here! Precious, precious. It isn't putting the lotion on. What shall we do? Oh, yes, oh, yes, the hose again. No! No, no, let me go! No, no, not the hose. No, not the hose. No, no, I'll put the lotion. I'll put a lotion. Oh man, I gotta get out of here. Life's got a funny way of turning out. Who was the killer, you may be asking? It was me and Beulah. 
I've been sitting outside the store for years, so I know every little detail about the clerks. Every time they're terrified, they hide. And all they needed was one moment where they would all hide at the same time. This was it. And for once, they forgot to lock the doors. So where'd the money go? Beulah, being the drunk she is, got all the money from the tills and I kept the money from the vault. And what did I use it for? Let's just say the hobo life is no more. Because of the stolen money and the government finding out about his tax evasion, the manager ended up having to sell his store. And what they didn't know is that I've been pretending to waste every single cent on cigarettes and booze. In reality, I've been saving every single cent. Who owns the store now? Me. I have no respect for hobos. Get off my property. I'm not a hobo. I'm a bum. What happened to Francis and Beulah, you may ask? Well, I'm the owner of the store, but I decided to make Beulah my right-hand woman and place her as my new manager. Oh, hey boss, how's it going? Perfect. Where's Francis and the new worker? Oh, nothing. They're just cleaning the washrooms like usual. Excellent. You're doing a fine job as manager. As it turns out, Francis and that girl he'd met struck it off really well. And they're currently in a relationship together. And for once, Francis is finally with somebody that isn't going to be found on Jerry Springer. Life has a strange way of unfolding. In the end, it's just the way it should be. Come to the side that the things that I tried were in my life just to get high on. When I sit alone, come get a little known But I need more than myself this time Step from the road to the sea to the sky And I do believe that we rely on When I lay it on, come get to play it on All my life to sacrifice Hey